आप देख रहे हैं रिएक्शन चैक Assalamu alaikum state thank you so much for clicking on this video as always welcome to reaction check some of you have recommended some really amazing videos and i'm trying to make sure that i rec i i do reaction to all those videos uh and aaj ki jo main video laya hu wo badi interesting hai kyunki um iska naam dekh ke mujhe bada hi maza aaya yaar ke bhai iska naam padh ke mujhe itna maza aaya ki yaar maine kaha yaar iski to reaction video lazmi banni chahiye thoda time laga iski reaction video banane mein lekin here i am making this reaction video it's called earth rise ladakh's ice stupa project अगर आपने एक मूवी देखी है बदनेम ऑफ थ्री इडियट्स और उसमें शाहरुख एक आमिर खान का एक किरदार था जिसका नाम था फुंगसू बांगड़ू और वो एक रियल लाइफ कैरेक्टर से इंस्पायर्ड था तो फुंगसू बांगड़ू के बारे में ही थोड़ी बहुत छोटी सी कहानी है अल जजीना ने बनाई है एक डॉक्यूमेंट है तकरीबन कोई ग्यारह मिनट की है और चलिए देखते हैं इसमें ऐसा है क्या क्योंकि आई स्टूप प्रोजेक्ट आई मीन बेस्ड ऑन द कैरेक्टर वर एवर आई नो अबाउट फुंगसू बांगड़ू फ्राम दैट मूवी uh was really fascinating so let's see what we have in this video and then we'll talk about the video and what exactly it's inside the duck beautiful place let me tell you that it's a place that I would I would, I would love to Millions stay for the rest of my life directly on glacial meltwater for survival but due to climate change these reservoirs in the sky are disappearing at an alarming rate Some scientists have predicted that by the end of the century much of the Himalayas could be practically ice free. Here in Ladakh, which experiences only 50 mm of annual rainfall, glaciers have been the life source for centuries. But due to climate change, over 14% of the local glaciated area has been lost in the last 50 years. I'm here to visit an engineer who's come up with a beautiful and extraordinary way of preserving the glacial water. using monuments made of ice Okay In the town of Lay I meet Sewang Dolme a local environmental scientist I understand that you are a bit of an expert about uh climate change and the effects on mountain communities Mhm mm Can you give us a sense of some of the challenges that they're facing here in Lay The main crisis is that you have a carbon mm -hmm. glacier. Is that what we can see yeah, right yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, that's carbon wow. glacier and that's where 80% of the water is coming for the lay residents and that glacier is receding at a very fast rate. And every family in lay has a guest house and uh, they drain groundwater like anything. If there is no glacier water to recharge the groundwater, then of course there will be water crisis. You will see people, you know, fighting over water. Literally. Yeah, literally. The situation is getting worse by the day. Almost a billion people are affected by shrinking glaciers throughout the Himalayas. In nearby village Fiang, farmers are on the front line. Sonam Dolma and Funchuk Anchuk have been working here for more than 40 years. Thank you. Oh, Sonam, thank you so much. Thank you, Chili. Okay. So, cheers. Have you noticed any changes perhaps with the seasons or with the levels of water? Tabe ban low nishu jing na pala chunu. Ma eh ni low nishu na pala. Ika la shenu so jing ba pe. Ta kafte ste kha ma ta tsuk shik chat. इन्ना छतपा यून खा माता लुजना कांगरी मेकान छचा छरसे सांसे छ तेजुक शिक्षाना नक्से गति रियल ई फ्यांस ऑफ स्कूल ला कास्पो छचेन छुई पे मशन टेस्ट का ला सेशन से ने कांगरी मेट पा यंग छिक माने माने खंग जिन से कास्पो छचेन अति छुई पे सेंटर कास्पो छचेन हियर इन द रीजन ऑफ लदाक द पॉपुलेशन रिलाइज हेवली ऑन द इंडस रिवर But with the situation getting dramatically worse, a local engineer, Son Nam Wanchuk, has stepped up to the challenge of helping the villagers adapt to these changes. In January, February, nobody needs water, so the streams flow and go into the Indus and into the ocean. Whereas in April, May, everybody, all plants, all humans are all dying for water. Yeah, and then there's acute shortage of water. what ice stupa does is by using winter water storing it in the form of ice and it melts exactly when there is this acute shortage 
that spring problem is solved using winter water into ice that melts in spring and then you're set. Simple and genius. At the Environmental Mountain School he founded in 1988, Sonam has been refining and teaching his ice stupa concept for the last two years. Way, the pipe brings water and then it falls down and becomes a stupa, right? You know, it's next 40, 50 years, the people who will be running this world are now in schools and colleges. I want to engage them in these uh, innovative ways to be sensitive towards the environment in the mountains so that then the earth could be in safe hands. And before we go to the ice stupa, we'll see a little demonstration of how it is formed. Huh? Now that, suppose, is the mountain. Hmm? And that bucket there is, say, the stream. From the lake or the stream, water comes in the pipe, which is underground, but here you can see and there is pressure in the pipe. And then it comes like this. So you can see small droplets, which means water is exposed to the minus 20, minus 30 air, loses its heat and freezes. There is no moving part, there is no electricity, just gravity. That's the beauty of it. Good. Thank you. We're heading up to the ice stupas further up in the mountains. But first, we have to make a quick stop. Oh, God. OK, what have we got into here? They okay, use these for the ice stupas to help the ice form. So this is a kind of vital part. It's like the skeleton of the stupa, if you like. I'll go and give them a hand, right? Look, I'm trying to save the environment for the environment. And Donald Trump is saying that there is no case of global warming. My contribution. Wow. Never seen anything like that before. This is... Huh? <laughs> now I understand. You know? It's quite... A, it's a bonkers idea. It's quite, it's quite crazy, really. <laughs> the design of the stupa is critical for its success. Wow. It must have a minimal surface area to provide a maximum protection from the sun. This enables it to last long into spring, sometimes up to four months. If the same volume of ice was a flat glacier, it would melt within days. This dude's climbed the top with his crampons and ice axe, and he's thrown down this rope, and he's just pulling them up piece by piece and just adding them to the pile. The prickly buckthorn is added all the way to the top of the stupa. The water catches onto the thorns, making it easier to crystallize in the cold weather. And when you see the size of it, you really understand how that could have a a significant impact yeah, yeah. for irrigation. Yeah. What do you reckon the volume of water is there? Two million liters. Two million, oh. Two million liters, yes. At the bottom of that tunnel, really in the heart of the ice stupa, is this large pipe. And that's the one that's channeling the meltwater down from the glacier up on the mountain coming down to the base of that pipe, and because of that head of pressure, it's forcing it 15 or 20 meters up into the air and psh, out into a sprinkler to coat the outer structure. It's quite spooky in there. <laughs> Sonam's vision isn't just about a handful of ice stupas in one mountain village, but hundreds of them, protecting the entire Himalayas and helping irrigate fields and forests. Genius. 5, that is trees so were planted brilliant. in 2015 and are irrigated each spring with the water harvested from the ice stupas. He's already won global recognition for this project. What's the future for these guys? Where do you okay. see these going in the next few years? 
I see it going in two different directions. Lower and lower towards the people in the villages. Higher and higher towards the highest parts of the valley where you can grow many of them, chains of them. So our hope is we could re-glaciate what we have lost to buy time and adapt to changing climate. So we've just lost the sun over the hill there. It's getting cold very quickly, but we've got a plan. We've got Stanson and Thomas here, and they've uh, brought some prayer flags to tie up onto the top of these two ice stupas and we'll get a sense tomorrow morning. So if you're from Ladakh, I would, I would are, love to know what these flags are because they are very popular in Nepal as well. Is it part, is it some sort of religious symbol or what, what exactly, exactly it is? Because I'm really... Minus 30 degrees. Okay, oh, here it comes! Ah! Slowly building up these structures until they reach heights of 60 or 70 feet. Yeah! It's like a uh, oil rig. Yeah. It's like you've struck oil. But you struck away. The next morning, I returned to the stupas to see the changes that have happened overnight. Oh, wow. Oh, man, look at that. That is fantastic, isn't it? Let me go and see. I want to climb up it, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's see. If I get stuck, I'm going to make quite a nice addition to this sculpture. I'm just thinking they're going to come back tomorrow and find me. Yeah. <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> Bearing in mind the whole reason that they're doing this is to try and conserve that winter meltwater. It's like a kind of water battery. They charge it up in the winter and then it melts in the spring. We are losing our glaciers almost for no fault of ours. Life would not have been possible at all in this desert had it not been for those glaciers. Because it had this fossilized water from tens of thousands of years ago, we are able to survive. And if they are gone, we'll be gone. And it'll be a real desert with no life. People in big cities, if they lived simply, then people in the mountains mm. could simply live. Yeah? Mm. And uh, sooner or later, it will come to their own uh, doorsteps. Mm. So we should be sensitive to see the first signs mm. and mend our ways. There are not many brilliant minds in the world and those who are, they are tied to a specific country where they actually do development for a specific country. Um, Einstein once said that there should be a place only for smart people, where only smart people are allowed to live. Um, we all are smart in our own way. Uh, some people are good at fixing computers. You are smart there if you can do that. Some people are good at looking at problems and then providing solution to that. And this guy, Feng Su Wangru, um, he's, he's, he's brilliant at doing that. And this idea is very simple, unique, and, and a brilliant idea. Hopefully we, can, we are able to actually preserve all the glaciers that are, that are melting at a very fast pace. And uh, a lot of politicians, a lot of different countries have, have denied global warming. God knows for what reason, but it's actually very real. I don't know what you think about that. I have never been to a glacier which is actually melted or I have never seen anything, but from what I see in the TV or anything like any other guy, anything that comes in this box, I believe that. So that's the purpose of my channel as well. I mean, I wanna bring you some content that actually can change or maybe make you think about a change or, or, or something that, that is happening in your life. Maybe I can bring something into your life that, that, is, that is a positive thing. Like always, thank you so much for watching this video, subscribing to the channel. I'm, I'm reading your comments and I would love to know more about you and what you think about this uh, particular video on this concept and what do you think about global warming in general? I mean, I would love to know about that. Ladakh is a beautiful place. I'm, I'm planning to do more videos on Ladakh and if you have any recommendation for Ladakh that can show me some more things on Ladakh, please put them in the comment section below. I have more videos as well. They're always available somewhere on my side. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm always there. You can, you can come there and we can have a little chat. Like always, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, until next video, tata, goodbye, namaste, and, and adios.